All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to just kind of set up the hardware on your uh, Raspberry Pi DAC. Um, basically, if you bought one of the pre-configured ones that's already on a Raspberry Pi, you don't have to worry about this. But for those of you that just bought the Pi DAC, um, you'll come. Basically, you'll get a bag with hardware and a Raspberry Pi DAC. Um, inside this hardware bag, there's going to be basically four screws. Four threaded standoffs, four nylon spacers, and eight washers. Um, what you want to do is first take a washer and put it on the screw like that. Um, I, I like to do that to all four first. So I just have the, because there's basically going to be a washer on top and a washer on bottom so that. Um, on the boards itself, there's no force needed. Now, if you lose any of these, it's not really a big deal. You don't actually need to have them, but I, you know, it's not not too much expense, and they they are kind of a nice thing to have. So first things first, you want to carefully plug in the Pi deck into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, make sure you got them all lined up before you push down. All right, so next, what I like to do is take one of these spacers and get it in here on this back side next to the connector, the GPIO connector. So it's kind of sandwiched in there. I'll take the screw and washer and put it in there. Put a washer on the opposite side. And then finally screw in one of these threaded coupler nuts or spacers, standoffs. So then just repeat the same process. Um, I like to do these back two that are next to the GPIO plug-in first just because this other side will kind of flex a little bit so it's a little easier to get those in um, and it's kind of tough to get the other side or the GPIO side in first or second rather. So same thing, screw with washer goes through the standoff and I'm going to put a washer on the back side Like so, and finally, screw in the two and a half metric two and a half thread. Um, I like to kind of push that down, make sure it's in tight, and then get these. And you don't want to go, you know, insanely tight on these, but good enough that it's supportive. So now, same thing on this other side here. I just kind of like to wedge a. Order spacer in there so you can see through it. Place the screw through. Oop. Don't drop it like I did. Place the screw through and then washer on the back side. Thread it on. And finally the exact same thing on the last one. See, I got the washer kind of wedged in there. Put that in. Put a fiber washer on the back side. And then finally screw in the little threaded foot. And when you do that, you should have pretty well supported assembly of the two.